Um, so Alex, thanks for the presentation. Um, and um, good to hear from your community board. Excellent. Thank you. All right, so next um, we have online, in fact, Emma Norrish, um, the chair of the Waipapa, Papua Nui Innes Community Board. Um, Emma, your presentation, please. Right, kia ora koutou. Thank you for the opportunity to present to you today. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on um, some happenings around our area over the past month. Um, so first slide. Um, here's what happened in our June meeting. Um, we had plenty of pa uh, public participation as well as some funding decisions. Um, you'll see there that we've granted $10,000 from our discretionary fund um, for the activation of Shirley Community Reserve. Um, that's to get some events happening at the reserve over the warmer months. Um, and our staff are working with locals from the community on those plans. Uh, we have one part A coming to you today. That's the Papua Nui Slow Speed Neighbourhood. Um, and the only thing I would like to mention on that is that You'll see our community board recommendation differs um, slightly to the original staff one. Uh, we've recommended extending the 40 kilometre an hour zone slightly on Rutland Street, um, extending the St Joseph's School variable speed limit around the corner onto Main North Road, and also bringing the stretch of Sawyer's Arms Road alongside Papanoi Domain down to 30 kilometres an hour. And um, we, we made those changes due to deputations that we heard at the meeting. And so we hope you'll follow our recommendation on that. Um, next slide, please. Um, so here are the details of other reports we've received, um, including our area report for June, which covered a number of local issues, which the board is keeping tabs on. Um, one issue which we have had brought to our attention around the Papua Nui area is the number of abandoned shopping trolleys being left around the area. So we're working with local businesses on that. Next slide, please. Um, the opening of the new Avon Hub was held at the end of May, and it was a great celebration um, for the local community. So this is the old Shirley Boys High School gym, which has been given a new lease of life and will be managed by the Eastern Community Sport and Recreation. Um, it has a full-size basketball court, meeting room and offices, as well as outdoor hockey or futsal turf. Um, and you'll see from the list of users that are already signed up to use the facility, uh, that it's going to be um, very well used and also being situated right in between um, Shirley Intermediate and the new Pareawa Banks Ave School. It will be a real hub for the community. Next slide. Um, so these are the recently refurbished uh, Rose Garden Gates at St James Park in Papua Nui. Um, St. James Park, it's a bit of a hidden gem tucked away in the middle of Papua Nui off Hewood Road. Um, there's a lot of history around it, so it's really great to see um, these uh, historical gates being maintained. The ones on St. James Ave are also going to be done as well. And then finally, next slide. Um, we're running our Community Service Awards this year, and instead of holding an event and having people come to us, we're getting out and about and presenting the awards to these amazing volunteers in their own spaces and surrounded by their peers. And it's going really well. It's great to be able to recognize and acknowledge the mahi that these amazing people are doing in our communities. Um, so there's a few photos here to share. These ones here of Natalie Sisson, who volunteers with the Papua Nui Community Toy Library and also Meals on Wheels. And if we go to the next slide, there's a couple more. Um, on the left there, we have Andrea Tish, who gives a heap of her time to Delta to Community Support Trust. Um, in the middle is Mel Patterson, um, who is key to the running of the Christchurch Vegan Society. And on the right there is Gaynor Jones, who makes a real difference in the lives of older people through her uh, work with Age Concern. Um, so it's great to be able to present those to those recipients. And that's us for today. Great. Thank you very much indeed. So you have left some time for questions, if indeed there are any. Tim. Um, I just think it's a brilliant idea to go out to visit the um, people, the recipients, and give it to them at their place. So, because we, we've been wondering about how to do that, and that's a brilliant way to go. So, well done. Thanks. Yeah, the, the recipients really enjoy it. Great, thank you. Um, not seeing anybody else signalling questions. Just checking with the people online. All good. All right. Emma, thank you very much indeed for the presentation this morning. And um, really good to hear all of the positive stuff that's happening in your part of town. That's great. Thank you. Thank you.